Hey everybody, let me talk in this video about debugging. Debugging means you execute your application step by step and see what happens in every step. It is very good for beginners to understand how program flow works. So if you remember in the previous video, when you want to run the application, just click this one and we see the result. But what about if you want to execute the application step by step? To do that, you use debugging. So if you want to start from here debugging, or from here start step by step, just go front the line and click double click in here, you will see this one. This one means you are in debugging mode. You could remove it by double click again and remove it, or you could return it back. So now to execute the program step by step, you will click here debug. You will not execute, click run. So just click debug. You will see different screen. If you see here is my application code, and here is my variables, and here is my debug mode. So now if you see I'm in line 16, I don't have any variable initialized yet. So if I see here, I have two things. I have step over and step into. Step into means if you have a faction call in your code, he will go to the faction and execute the faction also step by step. But step over means if you have a faction call inside your code, he will not go to the details of the faction. He will just bring the faction data and give it to you. So I'm, I'm prepared to use step over. I don't have faction. I don't want to see the details of from faction yet. So I click run. I will see here. If you see, first thing, the project or the application in line 15 or 16, we define number one equal five here. But if you see now, I'm in line 17, but I don't see number two here because line 17 still did not execute yet. So if you click run, when this is executed, I see number two equal 15. That's great. If I click uh, run again if you see I have number three equal four define it now if you see how every variable initialize now when I click run again if you see some also initialize it if you see some 65 but also number one is updated you see number one changes to the uh, four and this is the basic how you could run your application step by step if you want to see the result if you see when I when this line execute you'll see the result here summation equal 56 this is a basic operation if i click next again you see number two or call this number so uh, debugging is an excellent way to you to understand how program flow and how the application execute step by step and you'll see the details the variable data that will help you to understand how the variable data change and where is your error now to i want to return back to normal mode so just click this one java ee you will go back to the normal mode and just you could stop the application here we done and see you next